Yo, just uh, just got the news. Holy cow. Uh, Linval Joseph and Xavier Rhodes no longer with the Minnesota Vikings. Paul Allen, your play-by-play -play guy. Thinking about it on this beautiful uh, sunny Friday. Had to pull over to uh, chat about this a little bit. Wow. Uh, you know, Linval, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not breaking down the All-22 on Linval, but I mean you know, post uh, some physical situations during the, the course of the year. Maybe he wasn't as e as effective as, as he had been. I don't know. Love the guy, though. Fantastic player. Super Bowl winner. Xavier, um, it, it's clear some things fell off with Xavier this year. But again, wonderful, wonderful human being. And uh, quite honestly, I'm, I'm sad to see both of them go. So uh, in this day and age, specifically now, uh, from a personal or professional standpoint, we're all thinking, what's next? Uh, what's next? Corners, Mike Hughes, uh, Chris Boyd, along with uh, Holton Hill, Trey Waynes, Mackenzie Alexander, free agency, we'll see. Uh, defensive line coach slash assistant uh, defensive coordinator, Andre Patterson. You know he's going to do a good job with uh, whomever they get, but uh, what does this mean for the draft? Does it mean 25 is defensive line, cornerback? I don't know, a lot uh, on which to chew and a lot uh, about which to think. Thank you very much for watching. I know it's weird, but couldn't get to the cameras at uh, the VEN. And uh, that's it. Be blessed. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. Hey, Vikings fans. Ben Lieber here. Well, I heard the news just like you guys did. Xavier Rhodes and Linval Joseph have been officially released from the Minnesota Vikings in a move that really doesn't surprise anybody. I think everybody's talked about this the last couple of weeks, but it is still sad to see this day actually come to fruition. And having been in their shoes before, having walked into the general manager's office and had that conversation, uh, it's tough. So I want to say to them, thank you guys for what you did for the Minnesota Vikings, for making it such a great organization and, and making the defense uh, one of the best in the league. Uh, wish you guys nothing but the best going forward. But what does this all mean for the Vikings at this point? Obviously, there's going to be some, some corner depth concerns. You, you lose a starter. Uh, you lose a first and second down run stopper in Linval. And, and who knows? Maybe they, they, they're able to get one or both of them back on a reduced contract. But as it sits right now, the Vikings do lose some money on this with some dead money. But they also gain a lot in the salary cap by releasing these two guys. So about $7.2 million in dead money that you won't be able to clear from the books. But you get $18.5 million in cap savings with the release of these two players. So that's a big thing, which you go into free agency next week. The tampering period begins on Monday. You have about $20 million to play with. You went from 32nd in the league in cap space all the way up to 25. So not a big jump, but at least you have some money in your pocket to play with. Probably not a tier one type of veteran player you can go after, but definitely a tier two, tier three, and those are sometimes very consistent and solid starters at any position they decide to go after. Now, there could be some more moves throughout the weekend and as we get into next week to free up some more cap space, but as of right now, the Vikings get about $20 million in cap savings. They lose two veterans, but who knows? Uh, they do wondrous things in the free agent market and what they can do with the $20 million. So it's sad to see those guys go. Uh, a lot to be learned here in the next couple of days and a couple of weeks, but should be pretty damn exciting. We'll check in with you guys later on. Bye.